There's a lot going on with Battlefield 4 right now. I mean, we have the Community Map Project, which we spoke about recently, where we've chosen a jungle base for the map. We have the Weapon Crate DLC, which we also spoke about recently, where Dice LA will be dropping five new weapons, some of them returning as fan favourites, and the returning game mode Gunmaster into Battlefield 4 2, which is billed to come to us as an update at some point in the coming weeks. And we're witnessing super fast netcode make its way into testing within the community test environment. So that's a lot of stuff to be coming to a game that's nearly 18 months old now. And considering we were only expecting 12 months of game support before Dice LA got their hands on it. But what more can we expect? I mean, you might think, as I do, that all the stuff we just mentioned was enough to game on for another year or so. I think it is, but if we do cast our minds back a little further, you might remember that Dice LA put out a poll just after New Year, asking the community to vote on some fan favourite maps from previous titles, with a view to some of those making their way into Battlefield 4. Don't remember that? Well, <laughs> I didn't apparently either, but somebody did remember, and they took to Twitter to ask the question to David Serland, what is going on with it? And this is what he had to say. The product is doing great. Nothing has been announced yet, and it will be a couple of weeks before it is too. The project is alive and very well. Plays like a boss. More details will be released when we get closer to testing, including the results and how we tested them. Now, a lot of people left comments on my jungle map video, which you can check out here if you missed it. Links in the description as well that they really didn't want a jungle map in Battlefield 4 and they'd rather have an urban setting make its way in instead. Dice LA made it so that the community map couldn't be in an urban setting, citing it was too time consuming to produce one. So with that in mind, perhaps we'll be seeing some more maps that you'd like in this veteran DLC, which is taking older maps and simply remaking them in the Frostbite 3 engine. What interests me most though, is that the project had gone largely unmentioned for nearly four months, and considering interest in Battlefield 4 has spiked back up a little bit, since people realise this game doesn't suck anymore, I would have thought that people would be more interested in maps that we loved playing on coming back to Battlefield 4. But what interests me even more is that I bloody forgot all about it as well. I mean, I'd love to see maybe Grand Bazaar make it back in with the Frostbite 3 engine. All those rubble drops down the alleyway at the B flag, that is still possible with the Frostbite 3 engine, we can see that on Operation Metro. And you couldn't get a more urban map if you tried either. My only concern with all this extra content though, and I'm trying to be fair here, is the amount of it and the studio that's making it. I'm unsure of the amount of workers that Dice LA have in their studio and I wouldn't like to hazard a guess at how many they are just in case I'm wildly wrong, but I wouldn't want them to take on too much and then not deliver the good content. Like we saw with Battlefield 4, just because there is loads of content for you to play with, that doesn't necessarily mean that you want to play with all of it, or that it functions as intended. So far Dice LA have delivered on their word and improved a lot of what the community have been crying out for to be fixed. And also, the confidence that Mr. Serlin speaks with always seems to be backed up by the good stuff. So here's to hoping that all the projects that they are working on right now, that there could be more, we don't know right now, do come out and do please the people who end up playing them. If you really want to get your hands dirty, you can help Dice LA test some of this stuff right now if you head over to the community test environment. There are five new weapons and the Gunmaster game mode running in circulation, along with those improved netcode fixes which I spoke about earlier last week. Unfortunately, CTE has still not come to consoles, and this is largely due to Sony and Microsoft needing things to go through a certification process before being made public. Plus, the CTE has been made to test things, and sometimes those things go wrong, and things can crash, and things get a little bit 
uh, funny. And Microsoft and Sony don't tend to like things that do that because they have a console that they've sold to somebody who should be able to play the game that they're playing on it. If it starts crashing all over the place and it might even cause the system to lock up and break, they don't want to be stuck with somebody with a dead console. If you're a PC or console premium member, however, then you do have access to CTE on the PC by default. And for console premium members, you have to have a PC that's capable of running it. Otherwise, you, you can't really play it. But if you don't have access to the CTE, you do need to be a premium member. And if you want to test these new shiny things, then you can head over to my G2A store, g2a.com slash r slash westy, and you can pick up a copy for relatively cheap right now. And if you haven't used my discount code WEST before, then you can do so, and it takes a little bit more off the price. I did find out something about that, uh, that code. You can only use it once. It's not that it run out of times that... I am allowing you to use it, it's that it can only be used once per person. It's just a standard thing that G2A employ. So if you haven't used it, go and use it. If you have, well, it's only taking a small price off what is already a lower price that you're going to be paying. But there you are. All the news about Battlefield 4 rounded up. <laughs> I finally think that we've covered it all. If you could leave me a rating and a comment today, that'd be absolutely fantastic. But until next time, my name is Westy. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.